Hey guys, this is the Anchor Nebula Capsule 1 projector, and I've been using it as my main entertainment system for the past three years, and it just works. Starting off with the design, it has a unique soda can design which enhances both portability and adds a touch of modern aesthetics to any space. It's easy, you can put it on any surface and start projecting. It's very convenient especially when you're indoors. You can put it on anything so I do like that aspect of it. Overall it has a slick aluminum build which gives a premium quality feel and adds both durability and a sense of sophistication. It feels very robust and sturdy and despite it being such a small compact projector it has various inputs such as the HDMI for seamless projection from various devices and a micro USB port for convenient charging and that usually comes handy when you're watching a long movie or anything like that just plug the charging port in and you have unlimited battery when it comes down to usability and what it's actually like in terms of if it does the job as a projector it has a built-in LED light which can last up to 20 years it's not like the old projectors where you have to change the bulb or anything like that it has a built-in LED light which will last quite a long time. In addition to being a projector, it can also be used as a standalone Bluetooth speaker. So not only is it a projector, it's also a Bluetooth speaker and that can come handy at times like you're at a party and you want to play some music. Now you have a portable speaker. You can take it with you on the go basically anywhere. In terms of resolution, it's 480p but you can still watch up to 1080p videos because even though natively the projector is 480p, it can still play 1080p videos because the projector will upscale the lower resolution video video to fit the native resolution. The upscaling process involves adding pixels to the video to increase its resolution. Although the upscaled video will not be as sharp as true 1080p, it's still watchable and feels like 1080p. And honestly, from my experience, the quality has not been a problem or a concern of mine. It looks good. However, it's not the best during the day. Ideally, I use it during the night with the lights off and it's totally immersive. The built-in speakers are surprisingly good. But one thing to note is that when you're watching a movie for a long time you can start to hear the internal fans going off. It is annoying at times when you're near the device but if you're away from the device and you have the volume up relatively loud it won't bother you. Personally it doesn't come in my way of watching content so it's not a big concern of mine. In terms of portability and usability for the most part you don't need a tripod like I've mentioned earlier. You just put it on any surface and start projecting. But in case you want to connect to a tripod there is a threaded hole on the bottom of the device so you can always connect it to a tripod using the threaded hole and that can be handy if you're watching something outdoors and you don't necessarily have a surface to put it on you can just connect it to a tripod and it will do the job however for my use case indoors I've always managed to find a spot to place it on but it's nice that it has a tripod as an option in terms of the software it has Android 7.1 which is not the best but it does the job I wish it had the latest Android version Android 10 or above would be great but overall it still feels fairly smooth there are rare or occasions when it gets a little slow but a quick restart or clearing the cache seem to help with that. If you're using the built-in applications most of them will work great but I do wish they had better compatible applications like the quality on Netflix is absolutely garbage. It's pixelated and blurry it's not the highest quality but over the years while using it I have noticed that if I download the movie ahead of time like I downloaded in offline mode on Netflix and then watch it quality is much better than streaming. Other than Netflix applications such as Plex, YouTube, Amazon Prime, all that work well and they have a much better video output quality. But I do want to note that the user interface isn't perfect for the remote that comes with the device. You can do the usual navigation stuff like selecting an application, navigating, going up, down, left, right sort of thing. But applications like Amazon Prime and Netflix don't quite really work well with the navigation options. So the physical remote is not perfect but they do have a smartphone application that you can download which allows this track pad like controls. I found it to be a lot better in some cases especially for Netflix. I can just drag my hand across the screen and I will control the mouse and that's usually more convenient and faster some of these applications. So not all the applications are optimized for the physical remote and the on-display keyboard is terrible. And the smartphone app is much better in those cases. For example, the application is better for searching, especially if you're typing a long movie title. It's much faster typing it on your phone than using the physical remote. Another thing to mention is the projector does allow Bluetooth headsets, which is very convenient, especially if you're watching a movie at night and you don't want to disturb your neighbors or anyone in the house. You can always put on Bluetooth headphones 
headphones and watch the movie, which I use pretty often. And it's very convenient. But one thing I've noticed is that but when you're connected to the Bluetooth headset and you're trying to use the smartphone application, they do interfere with each other because they're both using the Bluetooth technology. So in this particular case, I would recommend using a physical remote than the application. In terms of the pros, this is the cheapest version of Anchor's projectors, or at least in this lineup, the Nebula capsule projectors. And it's easy to set up and you can start watching on the go. It's portable. It has a screen that can project up to 100 inches. There are built-in speakers. You can always use wireless headphones, which is a plus. You can watch anytime without disturbing anyone around you. There are multiple ways to watch content. You can either directly connect your laptop with HDMI ports and basically mirror the screen. Or you can do it wirelessly with AirPlay if you have an iPhone or any sort of mirroring or casting applications of any sort will work. Mirroring screen wirelessly will work and that can be done with both Android and iOS, both from computers and phones. In addition to that, there are a bunch of onboard applications which you can download. There's Netflix, Plex, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and YouTube. Basically, a lot of the latest streaming services, all those are there to download. They have a nice app store on the device which you can go and download fairly quick. So I do like the multiple ways of watching content. Personally, I love using AirPlay from my iPhone or the onboard applications like Plex and YouTube are usually my go-to applications that I use for most of my entertainment consumptions. In terms of cons, the projector is definitely not the brightest on the market. They do have various other models. Capsule One is the base model and they have other projectors. Each one is better than the other in terms of quality. This projector only does 480p and that's definitely not the best for most content these days. I wish they had at least 1080p which would be perfect but like I've mentioned before it's not very noticeable. When you get down to it it's a low resolution projector. The battery life could be better, it lasts at most two hours, but you can always connect it to their micro USB charging cable, especially indoors, and just connect it to an outlet and you're good for however long you want to use it. The built-in speaker could be better, it's not good for larger environments. Personally, I use it in a small bedroom, so that's all fine, but if you were to use it in a big environment, the internal speakers would not be able to fill up the space. Overall, if you want a projector that just works and great on the go and doesn't break your bank, I would highly recommend this. I've been using it for the past three years and for the most part it meets my need for being my main entertainment system and I don't have any major concerns there are minor things which don't necessarily bother me and for the price tag of $300 it just works and does the job however having said all that in every aspect of the projector from software to battery sound system and resolution could all be better I guess that's why they have three different versions each better than the other find the one that best suits your needs and in the meantime I'm I'm going to continue watching Everybody Hates Chris since I love this projector and the show. Well, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell icon. And as always, have a superb day and thanks for watching.